Welcome everyone to Lane Stadium, birthplace of Beamer Ball, where they will touch the Hokie Stone and come alive for Virginia Tech. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and we've got a team that makes it into the top 25. Now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see the number 24 team in the country, the Texas A&M Aggies, taking on a team from the ACC, the Virginia Tech Hokies. 48 Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Started with the opening kickoff. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Aggies offense will start this game off. And there he is. When you have a guy like this, you don't mind building your attack around the running game, guys. And he's a grown man. There's no doubt about it. This offense runs through him. Everybody gets their emotion, and everything is built on him and around him. And everybody knows this guy's going to touch the football, and still, defenses can't stop him. He can run through tackles and make big things happen. Sometimes your tight end's a safety valve, and sometimes he's your go-to receiver. And the offense knew right away it was the primary target. It was where he was going with the football, because you know you get a little bit of suck up from those linebackers with the play action, and you feed the big fella. The lone back's got it. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. This crowd, full throat, spreading the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. Well, jet sweep pass. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. Trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside. And David, he puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. So everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of the spot. It's a really good sign if you're on offense here. You're putting it on your offensive line on third down. Critical down and distance, opening drive of the game. Let those guys fire off, get a hat on a hat. You can run the ball, pick up the first. You're around midfield. And all things looking pretty good here early for this offense. They'll give it to him again. He'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Just a simple power play, power football. Be strong, be big, be physical. Make it a fourth quarter game, make them feel you, keep them off balance. Solid pickup of four on first down, it's second and six. Back to pass, it's Wegman. Fires to the middle. It's caught downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup, he went for it, he attacked it, got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. Texas A&M going quickly. Looking for room, it's Moss. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. Off the bootleg, wants to throw it. Pocket starts to collapse. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved, and I'm on defense, because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication, and it can really rattle an offense. 
On third and long, he has to throw for it. They get a rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. And that's a great job by this defense. You don't care about yards anymore. Yards are arbitrary. Let them drive down the field, so be it. You want to keep touchdowns off the board, and they might have just done that with a sack right there. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. He'll line it up from the right side, a 37-yarder coming up. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3 nothing. I'll tell you, this is not an easy place to play on the road, especially at nighttime. This crowd, they get loud. That's the way it's been so far, but they have a nice drive to open it up. They're able to execute. They put themselves in field goal range, knock it through the uprights. They did exactly what they needed to do, taking a 3 nothing lead here early on the road. That's impressive. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Hokies offense will go to work for the first time today. And what a great matchup we have of two highly productive runners, David. And I like the competition aspect of this, Reese. Like, I'm watching what you're doing on the other side, and I'm going to prove I'm a better running back than you. Both these guys are looking to be the man today. And both guys can go the distance, right? These two running backs seem to get better as the game goes on. So which defense can be more physical, step up, and at least slow the other guy down? After the run, second and medium. Looking for space, it's Tootin. He picks up maybe a couple before he stopped right at the 30-yard line. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. This is where you make the money on the drive. Ball at the 30, it's third and short. To the ground to try to move the chains. Still run. Oh, my goodness, he's still moving. Defense caught out of position, and they get him down finally at the 38. And it's just got to be nice to have a running back that can make big-time plays with his feet. First down, second down, third down right here. His opportunity gets the football, makes a huge gain. He makes this offense go, and it makes it so easy to be a play caller. Got his man quickly. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. After a good pickup on the run, it's second down. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Defense there to make the stop after a pickup of two to the 30. This is the type of play that decides games. Are you tough enough to convert third and short from the 30? Quarterback on the keeper. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Nice job playing assignment football by that defensive end. Knowing what my job is, not letting that quarterback get out, get loose, making a good play, and most importantly, being there in the right spot and getting him on the ground. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. This field goal attempt is going to be an even 50-yarder. Field goal is good. And we're even here in the first. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. Let's see what he can do with the return. 
And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. Just a pickup of a couple out to the 15-yard line. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place trying to help their defense. Dropping back, it's Wegman. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Yeah, and a really good job by the defender understanding the ball's coming. I got to break on it and go and not try to intercept it and make a bad play. He swats it down to make sure that's an incompletion. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Under heavy pressure, lets it fly. He's got it down the left. And a pickup of better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play. And I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. Coming out on first down with the play fake. That's reeled in. It's Muhammad. And there's going to be a loss on that play. Just run out of bounds and avoiding the contact. Let's see what they've got on second down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also OK with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Third down conversions are a huge stat. And this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Find space on the right. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. Wide receiver now comes in motion. He's going to pass. Part of the backfield. It's Thomas. And that play just looked to be a mess from the snap, and he's run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. They've got a solid drive working, but now looking at second and 11. Leaves it with the running back. And it is a chunk play. A huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. What a run. Great speed, great vision, elusiveness, and David, he's tackled down close to the goal line. Yeah, and this offense, when you can run the football like this, man, you will have success, especially in the red zone, trying to get touchdowns. And the Aggies have it in scoring position on first and goal. Wide receiver coming across in motion. And he'll sprint in for the score. Touchdown, Texas A&M. And these guys just score from anywhere out there? After that drive, it sure looks that way. And that's what separates really good offenses from great offenses. When you're backed up in a bad position and you can still fight your way out and go get you a touchdown, that's a great drive by the offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And they knock through the extra point for the 10-3 lead. That makes the score. Texas a and 10, Virginia 10, 3. 
about to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. Leaves it with the back. Picks up the first down. Smashes through the tackle. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with the first down. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. How about these two running games so far and dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats? They are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. He'll try to pop the draw. Ran through the tackle and he's got room to run. And as an offensive coordinator, you don't need the perfect play with this guy as your running back. He's going to make the play perfect for you because he makes everybody miss. Spin moves, hurdles, stiff arms, speed, whatever it takes to move the sticks and score touchdowns. That kind of pickup on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. Grab behind the line. It's Lane. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. Yeah, nice job by the defense. That's what you're supposed to do. As soon as they catch the football, you want to limit that yards after the catch, and he went nowhere after the catch. Nice job by the D. Now on third down for this offense. He'll keep it himself. At the 35, he's loose. And they drag him down, but not before. He picks up the first down. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. Using his legs, it's two. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, You're having to pass block every play. you got to keep defenses off balance. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He'll pull it on the read. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Third and short from the 26. Pretty easy field goal range, but they'd love to pick up the first. Gives it to the back on the draw. Got the first down and still on his feet. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chain. Well, that's kind of the advantage of third and medium, right? Is the defense, you keep them guessing. You can throw it, you can run it. That time they hand it off and they pick it up. And yeah, you can see the D drop back a little bit. It creates a little bit of space. The running back blasts through, gets the first down. They're looking to pass from the red zone. Makes the grab outside. It's Tootin. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. The give to the running back from the shotgun. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. Now, I love when players understand the situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Working that left side now. 
They'll mark him down at the two. The excellent execution on that throw and catch. You know, that's why this guy can play first, second, and third down. You've already seen him earlier in the drive rip off some nice runs, but he can catch the football as well. And they're going to find ways to get him going in all sorts of ways, but you're seeing it specifically on this drive. Trying to punch it in. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. This offense is racking up some yardage, but they've got to be able to finish the deal by scoring touchdowns. Third and goal. They're trying to slam it in. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Man, it has been a long drive offensively. I just feel like you got to pay this off and be aggressive. You're down close. Punch it in for a touchdown here, Pollock. Yeah, and inside the three-yard line, I think I might try to finish this off with a touchdown. I ate up a ton of clock, wore these guys out. Now they'd have to go the length of the field if I missed. Splits the uprights right down the middle. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. And the returner can find no daylight. He goes down. Texas A&M has it back on the offense, ready to go to work. Back to throw, it's Wegman. Makes the grab down the middle. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. And that's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. It's now second down after the short completion. They go to the ground. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs managed. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. Better find the air plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Got it in the middle. It's green. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball is going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. It's amazing how fluid and potent an offense can seem when you get a great pickup on first down and the tight end's a terrific place to go. Tight ends nowadays are kind of like cheat codes. I mean, they, they just know so much about right here. Seeing zone, no one to sit it down, boom. Positive yards, nice positive play for this offense. Trying to beat the D deep. It's complete. A huge pickup. And he's still on his feet, but finally out of bounds after a terrific run. Big play in the running game for this offense. How long have the Aggies been fishing for jumbo plays like that one? Just dying for it. They just want high-flying offense. They want fun. They want excitement. They had it back in the day with Johnny Manziel. Been searching for those big-time plays, that big-time offense since that point. Texas A&M going up tempo. Used to play fake, now to throw. Unloads to the wide out. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. 
And that really is a great play by the wide receiver for three reasons. One, he knows where the first down marker is, so he gets his depth. Two, he's able to stay in bounds before securing the catch. And three, makes the grab. Just an awesome job. Texas A&M back to work with another first down. They'll run it to the right side. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Hand off to the lone back. And we'll cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, Aggies! If you're able to move the ball in a drive like that, the most overrated stat in football would be field position. Agreed, and I think confidence is big right now after that last drive. To be able to flip the field like that, not just do it, but go down and score a touchdown. Running and throwing for this offense now moving forward in this game. That last drive is going to pay big dividends. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. So a drive there of 85 yards, and they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. Fielded in the end zone. It's delayed. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. We're about to get another look at this hooky offense. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. You got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Looking for a gap, it's Thomas. He tried to find some running room, but they get him stopped. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. Lining up to convert third down. To the air, it's Drones. The quick out. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. What better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. He's looking to throw it. Got it behind the line. It's Thomas. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Well, they try to spit it out to the running back on the perimeter of the field. You saw the speed and recognition by the defense, though, how quickly they were able to get to the back and get him down for a big loss. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running, second down coming. He's looking to throw. Quick completion on the out. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Now staring at a third and short from the 40. The aerial assault continues. Sends it downfield. And he reels it in inside the 30. This defense giving up ground. He's finally knocked down at the 26. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. After that huge play, they've now got it inside the 30th, first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down.
Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. To the air. It's Drones. He makes the grab. And they get to him and knock him down to prevent a big game. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to him. I can try to create some space out wide, dump him the football, let him make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out. He was working his way toward that goal line. They'll stop him at the two at the big play up top. We saw the tight end on a big play there in that last third down. Why not go back to him again here in the red zone with his size and his athleticism? He is a matchup nightmare down in this area of the field. First and goal and a touchdown here really gives them momentum. Looking to the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Virginia Tech! And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. Ready to try the point after. And after the extra point, they're down four, 17-13. An 84-yard drive there, and it was finished off with a two-yard touchdown toss. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. First down here for the offense. The give to the back. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, you've been calling a great one today from there in Blacksburg. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, let's send it back to one of the best home field advantages in football, Lane Stadium. Texas A&M ready to kick it away to get the third quarter started. Coming out with it, it's Thomas. Gets it out to the 20, about five yards short of where he'd be if he'd just taken a knee in the end zone. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. They keep it on the ground to open the third. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They'll run play action. Fires on the move. Ball in the air. Intercepted. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. Well, I love the job by the coaching staff there defensively, matching the personnel of the offense, putting their dime package out on the field. So you bring out the extra defensive back. You're anticipating a pass. Perfect timing to run that personnel, and you get the pick. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Caught in the backfield, it's Muhammad. And that play just never got started as he's run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Here comes the offense on second down.
give to the back. Defense there to make the stop after a pickup of two to the 30. And they don't want to waste this great field position here on third and long. Looking to pass, it's Wegman. A shot toward the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Aggies! That was just as simple as playing catch in warm-ups. And this offense felt like they could take advantage of this defense down the field, throwing the football. They've got a lot of speed on the perimeter, and I feel like they've got some matchups they feel they should be winning one-on-one. -on -one. You saw a great example of it right there. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good. It's 24-13. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it up with the final 30 yards coming courtesy of that touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone, it's Thomas. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. We're about to get another look at this hooky offense. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Got the quick pass. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football, they play a wide receiver basically for you, but you gotta find a guy that you can throw it to and you know he's gonna catch the ball consistently. The ball is on the 18. They need four on second down. He's looking to throw. Just a short pass to the tight end. The tackle is made at the 23. Let's call it a five-yard pickup. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. Going up top on first down. Quickly to the tight end. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. Love that throw, I'll tell you. He keeps making more of those. Lane Stadium and this incredible crowd is going to be going nuts. We've called games here plenty of times in the past. This is one of the best venues in all of college football. And this guy right now is heating up at the QB position. Watch out, it's gonna be a sonic boom in here. Here's a quick throw out to the left. Nice pick up there, gets him the first down and sets him up at the 45-yard line. Many times, the Hokies have had a dynamic threat running the ball at quarterback, but you got to be efficient like this in the passing game. No doubt, and you got to have some balance on offense. you got to be able to make those plays down the field in the passing game to make you honor it, get some guys out of the box so it's not just running quarterback all the time. Catch in the middle, it's Lane. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. will hustle through the line. They're threatening to score and they'll throw it. Fires deep toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. Man, this quarterback is living dangerously right now. Obviously, he threw a pick on the last drive. He's trying to complete that throw, but the defender gets a hand on it, tips it up in the air. That's oh no. That is an oh no situation. They're lucky that one hit the ground. To the ground with the back. They'll pick up five. It'll be third and five. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Looking for a man. It's Drones. 
They're going to go ahead and go for two here and try to make it a field goal game. They'll try to run it in. He's not quite going to get there, and the try for two fails, and they are unable to cut into this lead any further. Texas a 24, Virginia Tech. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the move from inside is five. And the returner will be brought down. Texas A&M has it back on the offense, ready to go to work. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Bob. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. They'll snap it from the 25 here on first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Unloads to the right. He got a hand in there. Knocks it away. Incomplete. How about the linebacker breaking on the football? Seeing the quarterback. The ball comes out. He moves right to where the ball's going. Nice anticipation. And swats the ball to the ground. Last incompletion leaves them still sitting at their own 25 with second and 10. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Caught in the backfield. It's green. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. I like that big, reliable security blanket. I and mean, that's what tight ends are a lot of times. They're just usually big, huge guys that if I throw it anywhere near him, he's going to pluck it, catch it, and give me some positive yards. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Getting some heat. Turns it loose. Fires and picked off. Takes it the other way. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. And that's just excellent cover. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board. You still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open. And if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it into tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. They put it in the end zone the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to really take control of this game. You can feel the momentum shifting. If they were able to take the football here, drive it down the field, and score again, David, they would have all of that momentum on their side. And there's nothing about momentum that you can quantify. Like, I, I don't understand it, but once it gets going in one direction, a lot of times it's so hard to swing it back the other direction. The momentum is real, and they got it catch in the middle it's thomas tackled immediately after the catch guys out of the backfield now it's not just run the ball downhill anymore you got to be versatile i got to be able to trust you in the pass game and i got to be able to throw you the football you can do that right there i know you're going to catch it and i can depend on you third down coming up after that completion they go to the draw Really good surge for this offense. They move the chains, and he's got it at 34. And listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, I love teams that commit to the run, and when it's successful, keep running the rock. Yeah, David, I think this offensive line right now, they've got a lather going. They're really sort of getting in the groove and flow of this game. They're just getting tremendous push at the point of attack. It seems like every single time they decide to run the ball. Pull down at the 29 after getting five. 
It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He'll do it himself. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. And he's brought down after a nice game. And listen, my QB is my smartest player on the field. He's got to understand where those sticks are, understand how to run that option, but more importantly, get me that first down, a new set of downs so I can be explosive again on offense. And the Hokies are on the move. From the shotgun, the inside give. Fights through the pile and picks up a couple down to the 16. Picked up two yards on that last when they need eight on second down. They feed him again. Fights his way ahead. They get him down after a pickup of three. They'll mark it at the 12. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. To the air, it's drones. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. They make the stop at the five-yard line, and they've got it first and goal. How nice is it in this offense to have a tight end like that guy that can come up with plays for you all over the field? You just saw the big third down catch. He set him up here in the red zone. I like going back to him, maybe lining him and flexing him outside, getting a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for him to use his size advantage. With the run on first and goal. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. Touchdown, Virginia Tech! And with that one, they jump on top here in the second half. And I like the running back's vision. He sees the hole, explodes through it. He knows where the goal line is. Gets in the end zone, gets six. Leading by one, they'll go ahead and go for two and try to make it a field goal game. He's looking to throw. Makes the grab right along the sideline for the two-point conversion. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Allen. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. Throws to the tight end. The receiver was doubled, and they picked it off. Couldn't find much room on the return, but what a costly miscue, and they've got it at the 26-yard line. Well, that's the second pick in as many series now for this quarterback. But, David, I, I love the defense right now and the way they're reading and reacting to all these route concepts. I mean, they are all over these guys on the back end. All over the field, making plays. Listen, you're supposed to see the quarterback break on the football. You've seen several breaks on the football. Your job is to know what the offense does really, really well. And you can tell this defense is dialed in and they know exactly what this offense wants to accomplish. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. Makes his man miss. 
Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. We've reached the end of the quarter, and Virginia Tech is on top. Three quarters are in the books. Time becomes a factor both in trying to hold the lead or cut into it as we take a look at the stats. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. In the red area, it's Thomas. Relying on that running game inside the red zone, he picked up three to the 11. Got three on first down at second and seven. The inside handoff. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, what a spectacular play by that defensive end to come up with the tackle there. And you see those guys get off the football so fast. Most of these guys are 250 to 275 pounds, but they get off the ball fast, low. And the offensive linemen, they have no chance to stop those guys as quick and as fast as they are. Moving, keeping the eyes down. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. The pocket broke down, and the quarterback had to take the sack. Really impressed by this pass rush, Reese. Just guys winning their individual battles one-on-one -on -one up front. They're able to get to the quarterback. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Never a doubt. Right down the middle. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive. And now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Finds his tight end. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Offense gets set for second down. Back to throw. It's Wegman. Fires to the big fella. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt. He was going down. Great job for him to They'll go to the air on third and short. Caught over the middle. It's Miller. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Third down, money down. Go to the guy you know you can trust. It doesn't have to be a long gainer, but work those guys over the middle of the field. Nice job, nice chemistry between the tight end and the quarterback. The Aggies come to the line with a new set of downs. Wide out in motion. Wants to throw on first down off the play fade. That's caught. It's Moss. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Well, they made the grab, but the doors closed quickly after that. And I like this. I want to find my running back, but, man, he's got to do a little more damage after the catch. I need, I need a stiff arm. I need a spin move. I need something where he can make that guy miss and keep pick up a bunch of yards and maybe get a big play out of it. Wants to throw on second down. And here's the third interception of the night. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. That's why you love veterans in this defense. They stay locked in on their rules, and he made the pick. And 
And we're about to get another look at this hokey offense. David, they had to settle for a field goal last time. Yeah, they moved the ball down the field, Jesse. Just couldn't put it in the end zone in that red area where they needed to be a little bit more efficient. I think they just got to do a little better job of executing on this drive. And let's see if they can punch it in for six this time. This offense is in no hurry, right? Control the clock is priority number one. I'm going to run the football. I got the lead. I already got great field position, but I'm not interested in scoring right away. I got to make sure I watch that play clock tick down, maximize those seconds, and keep being physical with the run. And he's brought down after a nice game. You love the play call offensively because you've got the lead. The defense expects you to run the ball. You just did it the previous play, so there you dial up play action, set up an easy throw, and you keep the clock ticking. It's first and ten from the 13. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. They get him on the ground. He picked up about four yards, and the ball spotted at the 10. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Looking to throw its drones. Fires into the end zone. And he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity, but it's incomplete. You simply don't see that very often. A quarterback of this guy's caliber missing a guy wide open in the end zone. He makes those throws in his sleep. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can pick up the first without scoring. From the gun, wants to pass. Touchdown, Hokies! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. He has been surgical. Precision passes. Using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for it. Just... Uh, he's been down their throats all game long, a step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. Now a two-point conversion attempt coming up. Trying to bully their way in. He's in the end zone for the two and extends the lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. Grabbed in the middle, it's Muhammad. Still on his feet at the 45. He's off to the races. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Aggie. What a catch and run for six. That big score makes the end of this game very interesting. No doubt the offense got what they needed. More work to do, but you had to get this part accomplished first. with that one he's now over three bills for the game and there's two reasons why Reese he's made good decisions and he's been accurate throwing the football all game long the AT unit on the field and the PAT will draw them one point closer if only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Thomas. He gets it across the 25 to the 27 after bringing it out of the end zone. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. They'll run it to the right. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. 
Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. Perfect play call for that big gain to open the drive. Now here they come on first and ten. They move the tight end all over. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And the quarterback was trying to extend the play, and the defense brought it to a close. He tried to go play action, but that did not affect the defensive tackle. He was bull rushing his guy, collapsing the pocket. He comes away with a sack. That's the last thing you want as an offense, a negative play, a sack on first down. Dropping back, it's Drones using the quick game. He's brought down quickly, minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. This is the type of play that could be a pivotal moment. Tight game, third and long coming. Makes a connection. He gets it to the 31-yard line. A big play for this offense. An offense has practiced the situation. This is four-minute offense. You've got the lead late in the game. They're trying to bleed the clock and just get first down. If they do that, they stay in bounds, and the clock keeps ticking. The Hokies want to crank the tempo. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. Not a whole lot of room as he gets a couple inside the 30 to the 29. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. The offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back. He's looking at his playlist. And he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Able to pick up a couple down to the 27. This offense thinks that they have enough left in the tank here to run the football and run all the time off the clock. They got the lead late. Didn't get the first down on that last one, but it's not going to surprise anybody if they turn around and hand it off again here. Ball spotted at the 27. They're facing a third and long to try to keep their hopes of a touchdown alive. It'll be a draw. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stops him short of the marker. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. It is good! And now the lead you know, it's funny, in an age where there's so many college football analytics and everybody wants to go for it, that at the end of the day, it still comes down to managing it. Good decision by the head coach here in the fourth quarter. By kicking that field goal, you've now made it a two-possession game. Your chances of winning this thing have now gone way up. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. You're not getting him on the ground, still on his feet. And the returner will be brought down. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. Now they'll run the draw. Really nice job to squirt his way up to the 31-yard line. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Find his man down the middle. Drag down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. That was a nice pickup, running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot and the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field, and you saw that right there.
looking to go up top on first down. Quarterback needs to make a better throw there, incomplete. Sometimes a quarterback just needs to turn the ball loose. It was like he tried to guide that one in, and it disrupted the timing. Yeah, and, and just like in basketball, when, when you shoot a shot and you, you start trying to aim it, you really, really miss. You know, quarterbacks, they got to quickly be able to recognize, do I need to fire it? Do I, do I need to put a little air underneath it? And, and it's just a tough thing for a quarterback to be able to do, but over time... Gets away from one. He's got space. Just carving up this defense and getting it down to the 24. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Looking to throw it again. Fires to the right. Touchdown, Texas A&M. And they take it in for six more points. And that's step one. Great job by this offense getting in the end zone. Now you got to go get the stop. You got to get the football back. You got to find a way to do something to create a turnover, get an onside to get the football back, to get back in this football game. to attempt to try. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they finish things up with a dart from 24 yards out. 70 seconds left, and they line up for this all-important onside kick. moments there but the hands team true to its name as they make the grab and get the ball here comes the offense on first down and the quarterback takes a knee 